Hey love bugs, this is Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And this is your first time stopping by my channel. Much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs. My grown extended beautiful family as always. Thank you so much for the love and support. It's truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and if the videos that, that you choose to watch resonate strongly with you and you know gives you the insight you truly need it please go ahead and share it's greatly appreciated uh today i'm um on my vibration of tarot cards so i've been doing this for a while and I, i've done a few already earlier today and i'm coming towards the end i'm on um uh, uh on the sign of cancer and um this is all for the month of may uh if this does not apply you know let it fly not everybody is going to resonate with it regardless if it's your sign or not it's not going to always resonate with it so you know this is just all you know just um insight that we need to be able to you know bring bring things into a bigger perspective that we can place into our lives you know be able to create better so universe what does cancer need to know for the month of may uh, what is cancer need to know for a month of May? If anybody is ever wanting a private reading, please, you know, don't hesitate to, you know, contact me. I always leave my information in the description box below. <clears throat> Somebody having fertility issues. Uh, there's fertility issues that's coming up because I just seen uh, somebody placing their hand on their face and they were crying and I see a spouse that is uh, comforting them and I see an uh, embryo so I don't know if somebody's having a situation about uh, conceiving conception um, things may be it is just at that point if this is uh, something you strongly resonate with it's probably something you probably forcing so much that you don't realize that's bringing stress to your body it's like if you're really trying to force that that's just like anything and we're really wanting something in our life wanting something in our lives and we're trying to place control over that they're telling you um to allow it to let let it take course within itself so uh, when you stop allowing yourself to force they said force that you know it's gonna eventually come in you know um, music is confirmating uh, whatever those worries are they're telling you to listen to the music you know there's so many different things that's coming to you uh, that is going to confirm that and um, those are different things that may be taking place you know if you've been trying to conceive um, and you're manifesting <laughs> you know it's like your music you, you know it's like you're not listening to music but you're manifesting something very beautiful uh, into your life you never know. It's just like you may be focused on trying to, you know, bring baby in the world. Next thing you know, your butt get pregnant with twins. You never know. <laughs> you know, it's like new beginnings. New beginnings. And it's just like, what is this? Oh, it's just like uh, the angel that's holding flowers, you know. You got new beginnings coming into your life. You know, you've been manifesting this for a long time. And these are certain things that you've really been waiting for. And it's just, you probably on that last lap and, and it's just not feeling right for you. You know, Archangel Michael is always there protecting you, guiding you, uh, giving you insight that you're needing. So know that he is, you know, guiding you every step of the way, wherever you're needing that. You know, they're always, he's always saying he's only one call away. Or just the thought of him, he'll come through. And something, mer something is really merging into your life. You know, it's just like when you see the angel looking, you, you can tell like she's just like she's in her head and she's wondering what is taking place. And there's something that's strongly uh, being uh, transformed together is trans trans ascending. So it's not transcending, but it's trans ascending, a trans ascension. That means it's surpassing things that we have expected that we, we didn't expect. So those things are strongly uh, being placed together. You know, surrender and release. Whatever you're trying to, like I said, whatever you're trying to force into your way on if this is conception or as you're wondering if, you know, if you're ever going to get pregnant. It's at that time, sometimes, you know, uh, people use the, you know, um, the ovulation kits or IVF, um, freezing eggs and stuff like that. They, they're, they're saying allow nature to take its course. You know, allow that to happen. You know, these you're going through a rebirth of your own self, and there are certain things that may been uh, uh, 
been taking place because from what I keep hearing is polyps. Somebody might have polyps in their ovaries or something like that. And these had to to be removed. So if somebody had a biopsy or something like that, and that may be the reason why that didn't happen because it could have really, you know, um, uh, made you uh, made made a, a, a pregnancy be a, a lot harder than it was supposed to be because there was polyps that was shown. And these are benign. Whatever this is, it's like the polyps are benign. So, you know, just know that this is not doomsday for you because it's like the miracle is coming in reverse where you feel like, you know, maybe this is my fault. Certain things has happened, you know. Things happen, you know. Um, there's a, a lot of things that this may have been, you know, you never know. It's, it's like if you didn't uh, catch these polyps before then, you know, um... This could have infected not just your health, but the babies, and then just you being pregnant, it could have made it worse. So they're telling you these are the things that that is showing you. You know, um, their science is coming on us telling you you're going to be okay. You may have been seeing Clear Blue Easy or different people that are announcing that they're having babies. You probably see that and get very discouraged. It's like, why do I see all these other people getting this? And I want it desperately for myself. And they're telling you. These cancer, this is this is your sign. This is are different things are showing you this is gonna happen. But the, they they're telling you stop forcing it. You know, this is not this is putting wear and tear on your body and they're telling you not to do that. You know, recognize your magic. You you're a powerful person. You know, different things. It is just like a lot of times you need to put a little to no effort at all and boom, these things happen. But it's just with this situation you've been so focused on and they're telling you these things are gonna happen in your favor. You know, but it has to be, you know, it'll be orchestrated through the divine, not when you want it, but when it's time. You know, it's probably that you, you've been putting so much stress on your body and, and that can, you know, really, you know, make some changes in your life that you didn't know you needed. I'm just telling you to go out in nature. You know, you're looking for answers, different things that's trying to come to you. I hear, I feel a mother figure that, that recently passed over. Like, this is like one, it's like one chain reaction after another. It just seems like somebody's parent or, or a mother-like figure have passed over. And then after that, it was like an avalanche of issues that came along with it. And that was your spiritual awakening. These are certain things that was uh, going to allow you to form your strength or acknowledge your strength that you didn't know you have through these trials and tribulations. So it's like they're they're wanting me to place that on there, but is um, this is telling you to go out in nature because nature is really wanting to speak with you. Nature is your guide. So you know there is just a lot of things that's going through, and it is like when I feel that energy, I feel sad. You know, for that because I know this is like something. It, it seems like people around you, whether it could be your siblings or you know close friends, you see they didn't have issues having babies, and it's like this is something that you've always wanted, and you even seen people that take it for granted, and you're just like you just don't know how blessed you are, and I feel so bad for you in that you know in that situation, and I'm so sorry you had to go through that. Because it's just like, gosh, I, you know, there's one thing I hate about certain things like that. I don't like feeling other people's sadness and stuff like that. I wish I can cure it all. You know, we can all be happy, but, you know, that's too much like, right. <laughs> We're not going to always be happy all the time. Life be throwing cold balls. But, but yeah, these different things are taking place where I know it, it's like somebody's having... Uh, heavy fertility issues and this is not going to last too long it was, it, it was just like it, it was like something with these polyps that they found um, it, they, they caught it in time for it it could have been worse than it was if they didn't catch those because it's like you went to go catch, you went to go check up for something else and it came out that it, you weren't expecting that and that was just guiding you towards that, that this is going to strengthen you. But uh, new love is coming in this maybe because it's like when you see the, the cupids, they, they look like babies, you know. And these things, uh, you know, and there is, it's just like it's at this time you got so much going on with you. And this is like even though you're wanting this in your life, but you've had so many downfalls after after this uh transition of someone that you really care for and it's just like you have to give your body time uh to nurture itself for this to happen and it was just like too many things that's happening at once and it's like so many um ideas and inspiration is trying to come to play but it is just like um 
you know, you, you see um, there's so many different things that's coming out, but it's just like you, you're so focused on that one thing that is like blocking everything else from coming through. And they're telling you it's going to be okay. Your guardian angels are he helping you. And you can see that woman down at the bottom, you know, her, her face, you know, her hands are all in her face. And, you know, and it's like the guardian angels are there to help console you through this. And I, well, whoever energy this is, I mean, I'm feeling it really heavy right now. <laughs> and it's just like being true to yourself. It's like whatever this, this uh, you're in your head about is, is really doing more harm than good to you. And they're telling you to go go seek, you know, peace with this. Whatever it is that you have hanging in your head that, you know, basically it, it controls every every movement, every choice you make. And, and it's just like it's starting to consume you. And this is not healthy. It's not healthy for your marriage. It's not healthy for your body. And it's not healthy for your spirituality. And they're telling you, you know, hey, come to that, you know. And trust in divine, you know. Um, you, you may feel like everything has to happen right now. Like this is going to bring joy into your life. And they, they tell you joy has to come from within. Even though you feel like, you know, a lot of times people say, you know, uh, a baby in our lives will save our marriage. A baby in my life will bring me happiness. And it's just like, you know, happiness has to come within that person or within that union, you know, within that couple. You know, that has to come in. You know, a baby can add more stress than it is. I've, I've seen a lot of people feel like babies can do that and you end up bringing a, a baby into a life that it, into a home that's toxic and it can be messed up but you're your power source and it's telling you that you know recognize your power from within because you are so powerful you are so powerful and um even though you've been you know you've really been going through this for a long time it's not going to be like this forever and it's telling you to you know really know your power you are a very powerful uh, vessel you know, um, but you have lost focus because of the situations you're in, which is understandable. You've been going through a lot. You, you've had a lot of love loss. You, uh, you've been going through different things where it feels like your family is falling apart. And I feel this strongly with uh, a certain sign, uh, with, with this certain um, person. You know, I've been going through that. And they're telling you to, you know, regain focus, being able to see the big perspective in that. You know, and it's, like I said, that you haven't been able to heal from the things that you're going through. And this is just like you have to heal from that if you want to bring a child in this world. It, it can't be with that broken self. They need you whole again. You know, and a lot of things that, that maybe did a, a lot of clearing. Maybe you were that person that were always being mistreated. Being that person that was always manipulated and stuff like that. But you don't realize the support you have because it's in reverse. You have so many spiritual uh, uh, support. And it's just the person that passed. This is that person that's really trying to help you. Um, and it's just like what uh, the name that I'm, I'm getting is just like um, their name sounds like a, like their first and their last name. It look like they have two last names. Like if it's like Parker Posey or something like that. I love the extras. But, you know, just for example, Parker Posey. Whoever it is this person has, it, it sounds like their name is like two last names at one time. So, um, okay, it, it's, it, it's like Saved by the Bell. I don't know what that means. You know, maybe a person know what that means. Because it's like when I said the name like that, I heard a bell ring. I don't know if you, you may be hearing, hearing bells with that person. But it's, it's like whatever their name is, it has, you know, their name sounds like two last names. Like Jackson or, you know, people that does that. In, 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 like I said, it's like this situation. You have polyps. And this is doing with health care. You have to take care of yourself, you know. Uh, you know, everything is going to fall into place in due time. You know, and a lot of times we roll our eyes sides. You know, it's like patience. And we don't like that word. It sounds like a curse word, patience. You know, it's just like, I want this now. And it's like, you're not ready right now. You're not you're not in your, your, your alignment for that to happen. And that's like a blessing. And plus, it's going to be more than that. You know, and that harmony is not taking place because you're still grieving. You know, you're going through a lot of grief and a lot of heartache right now. And this is telling you, you know, um, you deserve harmony and peace and happiness in your life. And, you know, it's hard for that to happen when you've gone through so many downfalls, so many mishaps. And, you know, and they understand that. But this is un 
on um, a, a thing that has to come into alignment and you see children it's in reverse and that's what this is you know uh, I, I don't like being right on certain things like this especially when it comes to stuff like this but it, it's just like the child or children because I feel like if you end up getting pregnant it's going to be you know it, it's just because you've been trying so hard and <laughs> when that finally come in it's like you know excuse my French but TMI but somebody gonna have some super sperm and end up having multiples you know, it's just like some of those people when they do IBS and those injections, next you know they start, they're prone to have more than one, uh, you know, active embryo, whatever you want to call it. But the, the harmony of that, ch the children can come in, it is not ready yet. You know, um, you have to become your own friend, your best friend, because it's like right now, the universe is saying it feels like you're your own enemy right now. And it's just like, when I see this person, I see them in rage, I see them... You know hitting themselves and stuff like that like you're blaming yourself for things that were out of your control these things may feel like your life is falling apart but they had to steer you away from all the things that were detrimental to you and your pathway that's taking place and knowing you have a soulmate you know this person that's in your life that is really supportive of you you know they're really trying to you know it may be putting a strain on your marriage but these are the things that's going to pull y'all closer together. You can either force y'all apart or bring y'all together. We you know it's, you know, it's your two, you know, and those different things that are taking place. So, you know, I mean, you, at least you have someone in, in your court that is really trying to help you with that, you know, because it's like when I'm seeing new love, I, I see that with, you know, children. Um, but there's forgiveness, you know, something may have happened to you as a teen, and I'm not going to say that out loud because you know what I'm talking about. Uh, there's um, something may have happened to you at a young age where you feel like this is main, mainly probably the main reason why you can't conceive now. But uh, this isn't the case. They say don't, don't allow yourself to beat yourself up for certain things that were out of your control. This is not your fault. Things just happen the way they happen. But this is like, this is going to be something that is bigger than what you're taking place now. And I'm not saying bigger as in bad, but bigger as in good. This is going to show you something full blown coming to you. And it is going to bring you so much harmony into your life, so much peace into your life, so much joy, so much love, you know. And you're going to be that nurturer. And it's like you've been having dreams of this. And they're telling you your dreams are going to come true, you know. But it's just like you have to hold faith within that. And, you know, a lot of times it's like right now we're a lot of us have things that's going in our surroundings that can strongly distract us from believing that things are not going to happen in our favor and they actually are but there was things that had to be torn down there had to be things that was cut away taken away for these things to come in like they're supposed to so they're telling you hold faith into that yeah your spiritual growth is merging in, in fast ways because even though you're grieving there's power sources coming in too so that may be you know you got so much stuff going on and don't realize you you are a very powerful person because then i have enchantment do i have enchantment on here oh no not this one i had the last one like i've been doing something yeah enchantment yeah you got you got power you got abundance coming through for you you know, you got powerful abundance that's coming in for you. It's so much more than you, you know, it's like you have lost so much. You have been robbed of so much. And it's like God is going to restore that. Even though they say you, you can't replace a loved one. You can't replace spirit. But this is something that's going to bring you so much joy. You know, even though um, you have had a loved one that you have been tightly bonded with, that person has took that oath to be able to guide you through these moments, through these hardships of cycles, and they're telling you they're with you, and they're strongly with you right now, whoever they are, you, and they're telling you you need to gain peace. You need this. This is so detrimental. This is like, if you know, and universe is trying to say, you know, they're like shaking shaking you like if you want this this is something you're going to have to really be powerful about this is where you're going to have to put your foot down like if, when you're trying to get pregnant you're trying to want to conceive put that same energy on you healing because when you're healing this is going to bring that towards you because it's like so much right now it's like you're trying to manipulate things to go in that way and it's not at that exact time it's not a healthy time to bring in a baby when you're going through all these different things because it can be harmful not just to you but your baby at the same time so they're telling you that 
So they're telling you, listen to the music. There are so many different songs that come in that give you confirmation on what you really need to hear. You're manifesting new beginnings into your life. And Archangel Michael is really guiding you towards that. Something is merging into your life. So there's like surrender and release. You know, they, they know you want to have a baby. You know, you want to create a family. So you have to allow those things to take place. Surrender and release because if not, the miracles, you know, you don't really see the signs of the miracles that's happening. It's telling you you're very... Um, you know, you're very uh, magical. You go into, you know, nature and allow the universe to speak to you in those ways. You'll start seeing it. You know, they say all you're seeing is the negative and not even focus on the positive. And there's so many beautiful things that's coming in. And they're giving you those ideas and inspirations to be able to guide you towards that. You have guardian angels. You know, whoever this is, is a, a loved one. Um, is, is, if I feel like a matriarch person that has like a floral name whether it's rose or daisy or something like that or lily those, those names are coming out because when i see the person the matriarch and i see all these these uh flowers so it's like the name re represents like it, it represents a flower and the person that recently passed away they have it sounds like they have two last names um towards that and it's like be true to yourself what you can't handle you know, go to universe, universe for it. Because it's like the things you're wanting, you know, it, it's going to come in divine timing. Not when you want that. But recognize your power and, and get focused on healing. Knowing the support is there and take care of your body. Because you, you your body has been through so much trauma. And, you know, knowing they're trying to guide you towards, you know, harmony into your life. And the children are on hold right now until you heal. You have a friendship of a soulmate that's really helping you through this and you know and forgive yourself forgive whoever else is in, in in this situation where you feel like the reason why you can't have children is something that happened to you as a child you know your dreams show you so much about the new love uh that is trying to come through but you have to heal with and your spiritual growth is going to get you there and the uh, abundance is is um is on its way but you have to you know get serenity in your life because you really deserve that you know um whoever is going through this you know my love is with you you know um peace healing clarity anything you need at that time because i know that has to be very hard to want that in your life you know there's you know um there's so many different things that you as a person has already been robbed of and you feel like, you know, you feel defeated. And they're telling you not to feel that way because these situations have made you stronger. You have overcome a lot of things that people would have ran away from. You have faced a lot of things that people would have turned their back on. You know, you, you place love in places where love has never been felt. You know, you have gave encouragement where a lot of times people felt they were doomed. And you, I mean, you gave so much of your life and it feels like even though I've gave so much and it is just like something it's like life is just keeps damning me keeps damning me and it's not this is not it this is where your restoration is coming in you know this is where your power source is you know a lot of time we got to face defeat to open up to be oh you know to be magnetic towards wins and that's what they're saying you even though you feel defeated you're, you're being prepared for ultimate win um and uh but like i said I'll, I'll just go ahead and let you see the cards it's like oh this is sad but it's uh when i see it, it it's like when healing takes way and which it's going to strongly do and it's good when you have that support it's like whatever whoever this this soulmate is is like your best friend you know they've been with you through all that and i know this may have been very trying on your marriage but this is going to really strengthen it at the same time and then when you last expect it when you start seeing things is going good and when you stop focusing on getting pregnant that's when you're going to conceive and don't be surprised if you may <laughs> you may have like triplets or you may have twins you never know and it's just like allow nature to take its course don't waste any more money on ivf or fertility uh treatments and stuff like that it's going to happen but it's going to happen in its own way so i hope you are able to resonate with that if anybody wants a power uh, a private reading i'm always open for that you know always leave my contact information in the description box below i'm going to go ahead and get my laptop so you can see the cards you know in case you want to you know take a pause and you know do what you need to do but yeah mm.
So I hope that can be something that can give you clarity. You know, I know that may not be something that people want to hear, especially when you're going through something like that. But you have so many unimaginable blessings that are coming just because the fact is how your your life has been, especially as of late. You know, because you've been having so many different things hit you back to back to back to back. And uh, knowing there's beautiful things that's about to take place. So I hope this can be able to help anybody that's going through this. And, you know, my, my love and, you know, healing and whatever vibes you have to uplift you to get you towards that next level. I'm definitely sending it your way. And I'm adding weight to it to add more towards that so that can happen for you. So much love to you. God bless. Peace.